What's up, everybody? It is Crypto Muscle back again, coming at you with another video once again in Maui. Yep, that's right. As things keep going on in the crypto world, I jump in and give my point of view and opinion. And just kind of let you know what's going on. And so, um, again, I wanted to get into arbitraging. And now what they call themselves as Apex. Uh, I just wanted to go further into a discussion with them. About them, that is. And they just posted a couple more postings. In terms of what's been happening with the conversions and all that. Uh, The last video I posted was about how David Pearson listened to the community. And decided instead of doing the one to three. You know which is one apex with three arbs. He decided to just go ahead and do the one to one ratio on it. And so... And then for the ones that's in AUSD active, meaning that it was already in the main wallet, he still kept that the same, a 1 to 1.68 ratio, meaning that if you didn't move it over yet from the AUSD, uh, that's subject to market conditions. And so the latest update now is that after the platform is live, Apex holders can benefit from passive income in one or more of the following ways. The boost fault, which allows Apex traders to boost with your Apex, giving their trade value an extra 100%, resulting in a percentage of any win from from your boost funds as follows. There are three options to choose from. Vault 1 allows users to open a 24-hour contract with Apex, with your Apex, F that user wins you will receive three percent of their win vault 2 allows users to open a 48 hour contract with your apex if that user wins you will receive five percent of their win and if vault 3 allow uh, allows users to open a 72 hour contract with your apex if that user wins you will receive seven percent of their win so basically the longer term the better uh, payout you will receive in terms of passive income profit um, should you decide to go into these boost faults when the user closes the contract you will receive the share of the win if they lose there is no risk to you your apex amount is protected from user loss at all times because your boost apex is always returned First, per vault rules, you will simply not benefit from any gain value if your boost is unsuccessful. Um, next one here is insurance vault. Provides switch and leverage systems. This vault generates two ways. Earning up to 25% APR on Apex distributed monthly. You must be in the insurance vault for the entire 30 days to get distribution. ETH daily distributions from shares of fees collected from switch transactions when any user completes a successful switch fees are collected in ETH and distributed to all insurance vault holders daily based on their holding size these are both accessed and added into from the boost vault tab on the platform we feel that these two will be great two great ways for you to continue to earn passive income from with apex now into the future and then the next posting was the switch button there's a lot of people were asking what's the switch about and what's all this so once the switch button is active on the platform it will allow the following functions this will allow you to instantly switch eth to apex the amount of eth that you use in switch gets saved and you will be able to switch back from apex to regain your available eth balance instantly at any time if you have eth balance in your switch account simply click get eth 
then click on your available limit and autofill the input fields for easy conversion. Thanks. So that was the latest on that. And then lastly, they said that they decided to keep the Apex practice mode live so anyone that wants to learn how to properly use it can practice with it risk free so that way you don't just go into leverage trading and you're still trying to figure it out and then next thing you know you wrecked yourself so uh that was a pretty cool gesture that they left this apex practice mode open for anybody to practice on that and so now going into my arbitraging account i originally had a thousand arbs uh, in this area, and then, um, then of course there's the ETH that's just been sitting here since, uh, when I sold some back, th back then, and then going over here, um, I had approximately 40,000 AUSD, and within this amount, I converted over uh four four thousand dollars in a usd that i put in the main wallet so when i first opened up my arbitraging account today it was around seven thousand seven hundred ish or so and i just converted over my maximum daily AUSD that I could convert over which is only a thousand because I'm on the basic membership so when I did that conversion of that 1000 AUSD it went from 7700 to 9429 so that is where I'm at right now on available apex here uh, among what what I've already converted which was approximately five thousand dollars is what I converted over so far or 5,000 AUSD, sorry, um, has now converted into 9429 Apex, and I still got uh, what's left here in my AUSD. So uh, let's see what the switch does. So I looked at switch. So if I have ETH, I punch in the ETH, and the estimated value I would get of Apex or show and then I would submit and then every transaction is subject to 1.5% fees so if I was to do that which I'm not um, that's how I would get Apex from ETH and so I could do the same thing here I could get ETH and um, by putting in Apex and then I could uh, cash it out. So every transaction is subject to 1.5% fees as well. So I messed around with it for a little bit to see if I could get anything out yet since I have uh, a lot of Apex right now. So let's just see if this works. So I did that and it's temporarily locked. So I tried it earlier, but I wanted to try again. And right now uh, I can't, the switch is not functional yet. As they were talking on Telegram, people were asking, and it's not activated just yet. So it'll be interesting to see what Switch will do, because I'm looking to switch and get some ETH out, and that's just me. So messing around here, let's check out the booze fault. So you got three different booze vaults, which uh, I talked about earlier in the, in the description there. Insurance pool, and then... Apex Vault is the same thing as the Arb Vault that was originally in there. Um, yeah, so that was all it is, just a name change. The same same deal as back then with the Arb Vault. Um, it's just 2% when you get in and 1% when you get out on fees. And then you would get passive daily income in terms of Apex earnings. So you would just gain daily Apex on that so 
Uh, those are the vaults, and there's also the East Vault that's still around. Um, I once put in um, money, or not money, arbs into the R Vault and held it in there for quite some time and uh, took it out. And I didn't. I decided I didn't want to have it in there anymore. And same with ETH Vault. I had it in the ETH Vault for a while, and it collected um, ETH. Uh, I guess you'd say dividends. And then after a while, I just took it out. Didn't want to have it in there anymore. And so let me see here. I just saw something withdraws here. Oh, okay, here we go. I guess I still got 527 Apex. That is still in the vault here. Because it says here I could withdraw it if I want to. Um, I guess I, guess I actually forgot I actually had it in the Apex vault still. So, uh, that's very interesting. Uh, yeah, here we go. I got 527 balance. Uh, originally, I put in... Um, I think back then, I originally put in 500. And it's just been kind of sitting in there. And usually fees um, associated with people going in and out of the vaults is what would build up more ARBs back then. So I guess in this case, more Apex is just going to continue to build up on this. So yeah, I actually forgot I had a uh, ARB slash Apex already in that vault. So uh, interesting. So I guess I'll just let that sit for now. See where that goes. And uh, yeah, all the other tabs here, they're pretty much the same. Car sign up, all this other stuff. Uh, you know, you got practice mode of Apex. Uh, there's Tray Pro, but I think they're getting rid of Tray Pro. Let me try the exchange here. Um, yeah, let's see here. Exchange. Are Apex to ETH? I'm thinking that they haven't activated the exchange yet. It looks like they cleared all the sell orders that were originally in there. And and look, look what you have here. They've added more pairings here. So currently the only one available is Apex to ETH. And now it looks like sometime down the road it's going to be Apex to BTC and Apex to LTC, Litecoin. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. But yeah, it looks like they haven't had the exchange going yet. Um, let me see what's going on with Apex here. Yeah, I'm not one to be trading anything. Um, yeah, it looks like that's active right now, so I'm not going to mess around with that because I'm not in, I'm personally not into trading, so I'm not going to mess with that, so I'll just go back to my dashboard, but yeah, that's that. So, uh, another thing I wanted to point out is, there's not, surprisingly, there's not a lot of talk about arbitraging slash Apex at the moment. The only one I've actually really seen out there, you know, besides the the cheerleaders such as whale miner and climbing crypto you know you got you also have like dev raj that's you know talked about his thoughts on this new change and uh and of course one of my favorites uh the clover crypto clover himself who's very vocal in the crypto community when it comes to these things and he has a, he had a big holding in arbitraging so uh yeah, um, seems like he's kind of critical about the actions that's taking place with arbitraging, and I could totally understand his point of view on it. Um, yeah, and hopefully these changes, though, would benefit for the better, because uh, I've seen and gone through uh, change with the platform in the past and uh, didn't do so well but um, let's hope that this time it does because like I said 
my whole end game on this is to get out. So that's what I'm looking to do is uh, I'm going to be getting out as soon as I can, when I can. And, you know, I, I just have to rate, wait on the best timing to do so. But, yeah, that's just me, though. I'm not a trader, so I'm not going to be messing around with the uh, Apex leverage trading. Uh, I'm not interested in doing vaults and all that other stuff. You know, I already have Apex vault pre-existing. But, yeah, so that's what's been going on as of right now with the latest updates on Apex slash arbitraging. And so... Comment down below um, what you think about the changes that's happened and, you know, the stuff that they're trying to do to try to get people acclimated um, to this new change, you know, with the whole leverage trading and conversions and all this other stuff. Um, I know that Clover is talking about how they're just trying to start fresh in a bad way, you know, just trying to clean the slate. Um but at the same time, maybe this is, you know, hopefully a good thing, you know, to wipe the slate clean and, and you know, try to get this whole, you know, good and bad reputation that arbitraging has built, you know, put it behind them and hopefully Apex would be something good. You know, that's all we could hope for, I guess, in this sense, because what's done is done. Um, there's nothing we can do. And, um, yeah, it's just, uh, at least David Peterson listened to the community and instead of doing that whole one to three conversion, he went to the one to one conversion and, uh, you know, that, that's a, that's a good thing because, uh, at least he didn't listen to the community when he put up a vote before about delisting coin exchange and, I was so anti that, you know, and if that was to happen, oh man, this it would have been the death of arbitraging at that point. But uh, good thing he didn't listen to the community that time because I know a bunch of morons were voting to delist Coin Exchange, the only external exchange they had at the time, um, which they were talking about delisting and just keeping everything internal, which would have been a, a huge mistake. But at least they didn't do that, and the rest is history. So, so uh, at least in that sense, uh, David Peterson listens to the community, but uses better judgment in terms of, you know, which one to listen and which one not to listen. So, kudos to him for that. Um, other than that, hopefully uh, positive things will come from this. So, yeah. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about this change and all that and and all that that's been happening. And, you know, are you going to be jumping into vaults or doing all the trading and all that? Or are you just trying to get out too? So, uh, yeah. If you like my content, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. And... Um, Links down below to the programs and all that that I'm in right now. BTC in, BTC out. The stuff that pays, the stuff that we know that is paying right now, that is paying more than these token type platforms. Um, just to highlight a couple, Cash Forex Group, you know, the hottest platform right, right at the moment, uh, still in pre launch. And it's only going to, it's becoming a monster. It's only going to get bigger from here. So, uh, you know, you make 200%, meaning that you'll get your original deposit plus double that. So if you, for example, $500 package that you go into, you get a thousand back. But a sweet thing about it is if you just get one referral, f friend, family member, uh, co-worker, um, sign up for it and invest in a package, boom, that 500 can become $2,000 because you're going to make 400% instead of 200%. So imagine that. Plus, 
you know, the trickle down effect from fees and all that stuff that comes from up top down because we're all going to be under somebody and it's just a monster that this platform is going to be and it's just still like i said still in pre-launch uh you got nexus global going to forex explosion invest in a package you get your daily passive income or if you want to compound it there's nothing wrong with compounding you're just going to build it up and make it huge and then you can cash it out so that's just a, a different way to invest with Nexus Global. Forex explosion in that. Super wallets, you know, these super wallets are paying. And I'm, I've been saying it all along. All you got to do is park your crypto in there. So if you got some Ethereum in your uh, Exodus wallet or Atomic wallet, then park your crypto into uh, one of these wallets, Cloud Token or IX wallet, and you'll be getting daily passive income and these wallets are pretty high right now ix wallet keeps going up in price on per token in terms of passive earnings i got in when it was around a buck 33 per ix token and now it's gone up to 198 and i've already made my initial uh money and more because i've deposited three eth and i've made much more back uh, uh, out of ix tokens and the exchange is instant you know and you could get that back into uh you know eth or btc into your wallet so uh they got that cloud token um i got in around 30 some cents it's at 48 cents right now and same thing that thing's a slow grower but uh they got more things to come to change that to uh, increase their utility. Um, so Cloud Token 2.0 is coming soon in October. And then lastly, Abundance Network. If you want to potentially make 100 to 500 a day, all you got to do is make that phone call. And uh, with that phone number listed down there below, and then you'll see how you could potentially make 100 to 500 a day. Easy money. So other than that, hit the like. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.